Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The hot news is today, oh wait, was it that big? They decided to give up on Iraq? Wait a minute, were we, really, were we ever really there supporting them? Oh, that must have been a different life. But one of the full frontal attacks right now has to do with fashion because you want to bring the production of fashion all the way back to the United States. This is a Su Wong gown. Anyway, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Now, oh, you know what? They really do attack. Guess what you can expect with your clothing costs. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, the Republicans have completely admitted there's nothing they can do to stop Barack Obama now. Because with the Democrats refusing to do anything about the president unless the Republicans ask first, and the Republicans being afraid because they, they're, they're going to lose the black vote if they alienate the black if they get, go after a black president. You know, I hate to tell the Republicans you don't have the black vote. And then also, it now looks like it will be a Mitt Romney. It's either going to be Romney and Bush on the Republican side and, um, and, uh, and Hillary Clinton or Elizabeth Warren on the Democratic side, and they're going to really even swing more to the left. What? Oh, Hillary Clinton is already lining up. He said, I, I would like the opportunity as a lawyer to question the Benghazi. Uh, you know, like she, she, that they're, I mean, she basically. She would like she, to question Benghazi. She yeah, the people are dead. Uh, the problem is the, the Democrats knew where the guy sat for two years. They've been interviewing the guy for two years. The, 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 the FBI knew where he was. Everyone knew where the guy was for two years, and now. The, uh, they basically, they have, the Libyan government has now went to the United Nations to, the, here's how it works is, the one guy said this morning, we will either get him back or we will have an arrest warrant put out for the President of the United States if he leaves this country. Uh -huh. Because they're going to, you, they said you don't, you, they, uh, they said that they could have arrested, the per, had him arrested any time they wanted in the last two years. Yeah. But Obama needed that one guy said the ambassador to the United Nations said, "Your president is falling on his ass, and he needed something to keep the people's attention." So he just grabbed a guy that he could have had simply arrested, and we he either comes back or we have him arrested the instant he steps out of this country. He did. Oh my God. Yeah, he just basically caused another problem in the world, oh and he my. basically the United Nations is what he wants to handle things well. The world court will find him guilty and want that demand the person be returned. What in the And then, against the orders of Congress, they basically this morning said you are not to bring him into the United States. He is to be sent to get mode presidents, bring him to the United States. He's been well, Mirandized, he so they been cannot busy, question him. So. Ah. Yeah. No ball. Okay. And. <laughs> no, it's a get, it's a got him. You have to understand. Everything that is under assault today, he There's had. A lot. He had the he had the patent and trademark division, of which is now he's politicized. Order that the trademark been removed for the Washington Redskins because there's a huge amount of support. No, there's not. Uh, anybody they're removing the trademark? Yeah, I've never they, heard uh, of they said they're not allowed. They they no longer have permission to use it because uh, thirty some Indians complained and Democrats went. Okay, basically it is backfiring. There's just a firestorm on cap. They said the Democrats. He is now what? politicizing the the patent department for all. What in the world? He's using it as a political weapon against people that he he's trying to curry the American Indian vote. I'm an American Indian, you know. Okay, we're gonna try this. I go out in the sun. I don't burn. I turn red. Hence the name Red Skin. My mother was an Indian. My grandmother was an Indian. Grandparents Indians on both sides of my families. There's no way in my family. I don't know of anybody in the film industry, and their way to the left on that are Indians gives a damn about what are called Redskins. Not that's a, a term that has been used for 400 years, and yeah. it was created by the Indians. Yeah. And Supreme Court votes for the right to lie. Uh, according to the Democrats, that uh, if you can, okay, here's the way it works. If you voted for Obamacare. You voted for the things that were in Obamacare. If you point out that the people voted for the things that are in Obamacare, it's lying because just because they voted for Obamacare doesn't mean they support what's in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Supreme Court, you, they were talking, how about a nine to zero? Mm -hmm. Said that, that if a person, they, well, here's what the, 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 there was no minority opinion, it was only majority. So here's what uh, one of the Democrats said. He said, if you didn't read it, 
and you don't know what was in it, that's your problem. You supported it. If you, su if you voted for something, have no idea what was in it, then that's not the fault of anybody but you. So you have to take it responsibility, which Democrats then went on a tirade this morning, how that you can now lie about people. Mm. No. There was a nine to nothing decision on that one. And Supreme Court tells many aged out immigrants waiting for visas to start over. Yeah, because they're, um, once you turn legal, or you turn 21, as far as they're concerned, you don't belong here. And yesterday, this really was a good one. It was also, this was also a seven to two decision yesterday. And that's the same time the President of the United States was holding a conference praising the uh, achievements of people that came here illegally as children and how much they've accomplished illegally and thinks that these people deserve better treatment from the Republicans and um, two of his people on the Supreme Court voted against him yesterday saying that they have to go to the back of the line. And the auto industry gets serious about lighter materials. It's called carbon products. Basically here's the way it is. The cars are getting more powerful, the products are getting lighter in order to get the, in order to meet the gas standards. The lighter the car is, the less likely it is to handle collisions, folks. Yeah, They're the cutting your abilities away to handle a collision because carbon carbon products are great to cut. They, they cut gas, they make the car fleeker, they make it faster, they're easier to produce, but they are not as sturdy. Mm, that's a problem. A lawmaker aims to give voting rights to illegal immigrants. I know. Uh, they Okay, it, it took two days for the stuff in New York to get through the system. And this two morning, days? Two days to get it done, and it's going to be signed. But now, uh, Congress, the Democrats, are preparing, and they expect the president to sign the legislation because they no longer need Republican support for anything. The Democrats are going to propose a bill in the Senate which will be passed by 51 votes that says that people, that illegal immigrants, shall have the right to vote in, uh, in this nation, even though it says you can't vote, you have to, there are rules and they say no, rules no longer apply in our country. Uh, and Rand Paul's constitutional Kentucky conundrum. Uh, well, they, okay, he can't run for president and run for the Senate at the same time in Kentucky. He's not going to run for president. That's sort of a real gimme because he doesn't have enough support right now. And Governor Quinn signs the Chicago pension bill which basically raise taxes on everybody in the state and all the businesses to pay for uh, pensions that they should never have given to people. And, uh, okay, basically every step, okay, uh, other than New York, which basically everybody is fleeing to New York from, from red states. They're going to New York because New York's business and climate and taxes are so great. No, they're all fleeing from all these states. And Hezbollah is now stronger than any Arab army. Yeah. Then who, who sponsors Hezbollah? The people that Obama now. Yeah, he, I'm guessing that he's going to have the the head of the Iranian uh, torture squad come over to his place, and him and him and the president, him and Michelle Obama, are going to give him a state dinner, and uh, all the Hollywood actors that are condemning. You know, I guess Jay Leno and the others that are condemning what's going on over there uh, by condemning the owner of one of the hotels here. Uh, and the treatment of women, they're probably going to be entertaining at the party that the president's going to give for the guy that handles all the state torture. And under attack, Cole maintains its political muscle. Yeah, it, 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 because that one thing is just the way the society is right now. And Obama's shocking success with, with judges. Well, yeah, uh, since the Democrats have basically ruled that you can't stop an appointment of his anymore, uh, anything that anybody that want, if they wanted to put up a guy that they, okay, it's just this simple. If you knew a guy had basically went into a bank, machined everyone in the bank, killed everyone, uh, and beat up little kids and attacked women, and it was on the public record that Obama wants him to be a, a, a United States appellate court judge, he gets the job. Mm -hmm. Because the Democrats want people that will do, the Democrats want people that do interpret the law, not obey the law. Uh-huh, and mammoths can be brought back from extinction. Yeah, it's called, they basically can do the DNA stuff. Everybody is, no, okay, here's the work is. I know for certain years ago that somebody, many, you know, uh, really uh, in Siberia shocked a mammoth back to life. And it, it moved, its muscles moved. And that showed, and if you could get muscular movement, well, I mean, that is life as the muscles twittered. 
and it didn't it didn't last long, but they did get a reaction, a muscular reaction to a frozen baby to mammoth. A frozen mammoth? Yeah. Wow. And, and it, if you could do that, you could basically create one with an elephant. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. Uh, once you start giving up rights, you never get them back. No! Otherwise, you have to wait for uh, it to go to room temperature. Yeah. 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 Yeah.